Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, Ray J, coming at you with another Basement Boy Productions from the fifth flow. About to do a theory lesson on the interval, the major third, or the major third interval. Just talk a little bit about that and where you might hear it and some fun things that you could do with it, no matter what type of style of music you play. Because you hear it very a lot. Very a lot. Okay, so let's go to the throne of grace. A high in the name of Yeshua, we ask you to forgive us for all our sins, continue to cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness. Everything that's in us is not like you. We ask you to take it out right now. We just overall thank you for life, health, and strength in your faithfulness and salvation. Heavenly Father, as we go into this lesson, help me to to teach with clarity and help the viewers to understand with clarity, Father. And as we water and plant, continue to increase our skills and our talents, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding for the base. More importantly, Father, draw us close to you day by day because nothing means, everything means nothing if you're not a part of it. And we will be swift to give your name all the glory, all the honor, all the praise for us in your shyest name we pray. Amen. Okay, so as I was saying, this lesson is going to be focused on the major third. So what is the major third? The major third is a interval in the major scale or often known as the, the three so if you know your numbers if somebody say the three that's just the major third is the third note in the major scale okay so we're gonna be in B flat hopefully you can hear that so Right, so if I, so B flat is the one, C is the two, and D is the three. So in the key of B flat, D is the major third. All right, and just overall, like I said, the the major third interval is just the third note in whatever scale that you're in. And also, just to, if you want to take a whole step, it's just it's just two whole steps from the key, the root key that you're in, or the one, or just four notes up from your root, or your tonic, or your one, whatever you want to call it. So let's just go on where you might hear the major third that that it will you can hear it and it stick out. So first, let's just take church music. So let's say you building up like you about to shout and they do the slow walk up. So that's the three. That first note when they when they like um that's the major third right there, okay? Somewhere else you may hear it in church music is like when you do the war cry. It's the second note. So the progression is one, three, five, six. All right, and that's the walk up. So the second note in the O is the three. All right, somewhere else you might hear it. If you think about uh, rock and roll, or yeah, like rock and roll, or like a yeah bluesy type bass line, we hear. So, again, that the, just like we did with the war cry, is always that that second note after the one. Okay, so all right. So somewhere else that you can hear it is if you play like <clears throat> like a chord, like a major chord, mostly, well, all major chords feature this, that major third, okay, because the minor third, this is a major third, so you could do a chord walk up like this, all 
So when you hear anything like that, that's the major third, that high note. And if you go to the four of B flat, which is E flat, that's another major third. Oh, shoot. Then five is the F major chord, so, right? So now, just to give you, let's say you could make your rhythm. And you also hear a lot in funk music, and that's where it really kind of like stands out. So you could hear something like... Alright, so let me just I'm wanna what I wanna do for the major so you get used to playing with it is whenever let's just say because the note really sounds good, especially when you pair it with the flat seven, which is that tritone, which y'all know your boy love tritones. Alright. Well the major third is right here, which is the D, and you pair it with its tritone. Which would be A flat, and and like I said, we're in the key of B flat. So, so when you really pair it with that, whether if you're doing a lick or just doing that, it really takes it to a whole new level. And y'all know your boy love tritone, so I'm gonna just give you like a little rhythm that you could do, like a a funk rhythm that you do, and I'll just give you a lick that you can do too. But for your own practice and to really help you get used to playing with it what i would say that you could try is whatever type of licks you do if it's based around like a, a major or happy sounding lick whatever the last note of your lick is that note before it use the major third to go to it so for example then i'm going and show you the the little riff you could do in a couple of licks so let's say you got a lick like this so that was that's just the lick one two four five six one two one all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add the the three right before i go to the one so i'm gonna do one two three one all right and to in order to make this sound good, of course you would have to practice it to make sure your timing is right. So I just take that lick slow and add the major three in. Oh, that's not slow. You see, so the first one is second one with the major third in it. So even if you want to do a, a minor lick, if you're doing any type of lick and you're ending that lick on the one, just add that major third in it. So let's say you want to do a minor lick. So so that's just that's just walking down the the minor pentatonic in B flat. Okay. So now. Before that B flat, I end that here. I'm gonna add that major third and watch it sound so totally different, just with one note. So, and you of course you use your different articulations that I've been teaching about about sliding and hammer ones and pull off. So it sounds totally different then. Then, all right. So that's just a little practice thing you do. Try to drop that major third in, in any lick that you do, and watch it sound like oh shoot. All right. So here's the lick I'm the riff I gave you. I'm gonna give you that you could just practice on using like the major third, and just you can have fun around too. So here we go. <laughs> so that's real easy so again we're in B flat so it's B flat 
octave, well, one low one, then high one, or B flat, then octave B flat. And that second part is six twice, hit the six twice. And you hammer on to the flat seven, so. So watch my fingers. Or you can slide. And that's the second part, so. And that's just the octave, or on your G string, you're just going up two, the number two, minor third to the major third and that brings you back to that major third scale so it's kind of like just with that how I showed you about that chord before but you're not doing the low note you just and all that is I'm still I hit the four after I go. So that's octave four. And you just do that that walk up again. And you hear that walk up a lot. Okay? So you hear that walk up a lot. Alright? And that's just again, that's just the two minor third three. Or just walk up half steps from the two to the three. So. All right. So that's a little riff you could do. Just a little rhythm that you could play that could work on your major thirds. And you could do it down. You could do it low too. just doubling it up so it's the same notes same progression it's just play the octave higher so this is low two walk up to the three this is just a high same exact thing and that's another way that you can practice to get your speed up as well So you could also, let's say you want to stick with that, just to elevate it. And that's just that tritone, which is same thing down. here is just the notes inverted and all that means is the top note for right here is the A flat and the low note is the D but down here it's just flip flop the D is the high note A flat is the low note so you got and again when I said about Pairing the major third to the uh, flat seven, it just gives it a, a different. And then all that riff is, or that lick is, it's slide from the two to the three, then you do five, hammer on six, hammer on flat seven. And you go back to that to the major third so all 
All right, so a lick that you could do, and it's already 15 minutes, kind of like sleepy, but hopefully it's still a quality lesson. And I have faith in my faithful followers, whom I do appreciate, that if you don't understand anything, you're going to ask me. So a lick that you could do that features a good dosage of the major third. So here it go. I'm going to do it again. Oh, one more time. And mainly what I just showed you is what that lick is about. So, and you could do it up here too. And that's a little New York thing too. You hear that a lot of Hezekiah Walker, like if I, oh, that's Zach Williams. Like, while I'm patiently waiting for you. I don't, I forgot what key that is, but it's like. And that's just what it is. So the first part is hammer on from the flat seven to the one. Or A flat to B flat. So that's the first part. So that's flat seven, hammer on to the one, minor third, slide or hammer on to the three, back to the one. All right, so again, that's the first part. And again, you could practice both sliding and hammer on in. The second part is flat seven. And you either slide down or you pull off. Okay? So, so that's flat seven, six, five. All right, that's that part. All that is just one strike. Or you do. But all that's just one strike, okay? Not... last part is just how we finished up the the last riff four two flat three three one and you could of course that lick could be broken down to like three licks that's so the first lick by itself could be the second lick can be an elastic. And you can also invert the licks. That just means instead of just doing it one, two, three, like I showed you, you could do two, one, three, or three, one, two. Okay? So that's 19 minutes. I think that's kind of long. But nevertheless, I think it was a, a good quality lesson for you really un being able to hear the major third and what it's that interval sounds like and being able to play around with it, whether if you're just doing a regular groove, playing it within a song or just doing it in a lick. It really opens it up because it sounds... Like, uh, if you ever heard of Jocko Pastores, he bases his, his riffs around, like, a lot of his licks around, like, that major third. Because it just, it gives it, like, it's in between, like, the major and minor type of feel. So, you can start a lick on the minor, but you end with that major third. It just takes it to a different level. Okay? So, last thing. I could do, a, I could play B flat minor scale. But... Add this major third in, it still gives it a different thing. So here's the B flat 
minor scale. All right, now I'm gonna add the major third in somewhere and just listen to how I sound. So it's still, it gives it that, that major, that little happy feel. It's like you was in a thunderstorm and now the sun just started shining. Or you could just start on a three, like the sun is shining. Now I go to the thunderstorm, which would be your minor scale. So hopefully this lesson was a help to somebody, at least one person. So everybody who's been commenting and subscribing, I appreciate the feedback. And continue to like and share the videos. And if y'all have any questions, y'all know I answer back. I may not do a lesson in a couple of months, but I'm going to make sure I answer y'all questions as soon as possible. So this is your boy Ray J over and out.